What's up, Ice Boys? It's your daddy, Ice Man. So, Vaza has been collecting some goodies, and we're about to make up some more space for him and slam some of this shit. Probably some of this shit's gonna go bye bye. If something breaks, I want you to slam at different waypoints. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> yeah. We don't want to fuck shit up, you know what I mean? If it goes bad at one spot, we're going to move to a different spot. Run around, throw some jobs, kill enemy. All right, just mix, mix some shit up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So first off, I'm going to craft these gloves. Think that shit. Here's my scolders. So we're going to slam this scolders real quick. He doesn't know I have this. Oh, what the hell did it do? I don't know if it did anything. But yeah, Baz has been collecting a bunch of stuff. Um, to slam, so I'm gonna, and we have a couple slam videos coming up, so I guess I'll slam gold wrap. Yeah, those gloves were mine. Oh, he probably still wants to move. Okay, 10 IS, what did this do? I don't think it did shit. Did it do shit? I don't know if it did. Yeah, nothing happened. <clears throat> nothing on gold wrap. I gotta show you guys uh, what I've been up to with my Infinity, and Baza and I are gonna run um, the Tier 5 shortly, so stay tuned for that video. It should be maybe the next video that I make, I'm not sure. Did that do shit? Oh! Wow, GG Frostburns, look at that, all res 7 on the Frostburns, and uh, increased max mana 35, so <clears throat> there's been worse. Yeah, that's a GG as, as fuck drop right there. Oh, an eagle horn. Make a nice budget Zon with this. baza has been running with his five-socketed Barizza, and he upped that shit. Put a bunch of Athrunes in and other things. Damn! All right, went bye-bye. Looks like we got to move. Let's go! <clears throat> oh, maybe I'll just run outside through a couple job lines. Fuck it. Uh, I'll summon my Valkyrie. Just run around the fucking rock a little bit. You just gotta, you just gotta get shit reworked a little bit. You know what I mean? You can't stay in the same damn spot. Slam at Stony Field. Fuck me. I hope I have that. All right. So I'm gonna grab a couple things here. Doombringer. And check this out. How do you say that? Mister Smith's Reaver. How do you say that? Let me know in the comments below if you guys know how to say that. Mister Smith's Reaver. Uh, that's a collector's item, actually, from Diablo 1. So that was a toad item in Diablo 1. He's Doombringer. Damn! Son of a bitch! Doombringer went bye-bye. Um, <clears throat> all right. I'm going to collect a couple more things here. Frostwind. That's another collector's item. Yeah, he found some classic items, man. That's that's cray cray. Here, fuck it. I'm gonna slam this right here. Razor tail. So yeah, what you want on this? Uh, you can get more pierce. You can get eight percent additional pierce on any belt, <clears throat> or a max to all res to maybe lightning res. Oh damn! Holy shit! <laughs> Oh, man. Razor went bye-bye. Fucking shit. Here's this unique little uh, item right here. I'll, I'll slam it outside. I'll slam that shit outside. See, this uh, shield now, this Elma Regra, the Sacred Ranich, it now offers skill cooldown. Because in Path of Diablo, there are a few more skills that have been added with cooldown. So this one has a 29% cooldown. Die. Damn! All right, a lot of shit going bye-bye, but this is freeing up some space for Baza because like I said, we're going to be running tier five and um, We don't know how that's going to be. I'm pretty sure we're both going to die several times. My Amazon just leveled up So, okay, I'm going to go to act four slam some of this shit um, Vidala's boots I can't <laughs> Maybe I'll keep them fucking boots. I'll, I'll, I'll offer him something for him for sure. Make sure they're worth his time. 
Because Mizon actually wears these. Check this out. Uh, 14 Pierce. Oh, these are perfect. 15 Pierce. Holy shit. Damn! Damn! Yeah, I, I had a dog in the fight right there, man. Fuck! There's no way in hell it's gonna happen again. Right? Here, I'm gonna use one of his, but I'll give... I'll, I'll, I'll replace it. The fuck? Oh, skill cooldown! Damn, so that, that applies to Plague Javelin. Alright, so I'll give Bowser one of mine now. Oh, damn. Yeah, the cube's fucked up. There's something wrong with this cube, man. Mm. Damn. Yeah, I was really hoping for res on these Vidalas. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Wait, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We're some like 15 plus more things. Oh, shit. Um, here's an amulet that I actually found in the Chaos Sanctuary. Crescent Moon. All right. For those of you toads who need a little pointer from a fat toad, check this out. This is a great amulet, Vidalis, to use on an assassin, like a more budget Blaze of Ice assassin, before you get like a blade shield slash Blaze of Ice assassin, before you attain like full net set. It's toad to have this amulet. <clears throat> All right. Nadja's Light Plate. This is a great armor right here for Amazons. It makes you run a little slower, though. Yeah, Champion Axe. Collector's item right here. Check out that damage per level. I'm, uh, my character's level 91 now. What? No way. Oh, shit. Nice. 1% less pierce than mine, but they might still do. Yeah, you see that? I can, I can still hit max pierce. Damn, that's Toad. So this is a collector's item, man. This is from D1. So he's going to slam that. And um, let's see what he gets. What else is he going to slam? This one, I think, is going to slam this. Nice. Oh, CNC. Yeah, a lot of damage per character level. It would be told to try an axe like this out on a Barbarian with like six sockets. Put a couple of Ethrunes in there. He actually has an IK Barbarian, and we've been running maps with him. And his IK Barbarian is very powerful. Okay, so that blade went bye-bye. I would love to see a Barbarian with, like, um, Mr. Schmidt's Reaver or Hell Slayer with six sockets or five sockets. I think, no, Hell Slayer can get six sockets. Is that right? Oh, Schaefer. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Dude, this is godly as fuck. To be honest, I wouldn't mind wearing this on my Amazon. Maybe he'll let me borrow it. But yeah, she's going to run slower. Here, watch. Watch her run around. And now, I don't know how much slower. But I believe, because light plate and archon plates are light. This is like a heavy armor. Okay, you see her? Is she running slower? I'm pretty sure she's running slower. Yeah, I think, so here's here's her normal speed with Archon Blade. I think the shield actually affects it as well. And here's this other one. It's not too much of a difference. Man, this is a fucking hog. That is godly. I was just going to say, yeah, that's, uh, <clears throat> that's a good armor for, like, a sort of budget Amazon. It's, I mean, shit, it's almost as good as Chains of Honor. You can put IAS stuff in it. Great for Javazon and probably a couple other character types. Because, you know, Javazon, you're not physical reliant, so it's not fortitude. 
you don't benefit so much from the chains of honor damage. So something like Nadja's Plight would be great. Because unlike Fortitude and Chains of Honor, you can pop some IS jewels in it. Here's Schaefer's. Yeah, he found this. I can't remember where he found it. Uh, this is a classic item. You know, it's named after one of the game developers for Diablo 2. But check out the stats. It just gives a ton of maxed. <clears throat> yeah, where do you find it? Chaos. Lightning Ball. Oh, no way. I didn't know it did that. I'd love to try this out uh, on a character because Lightning Ball is actually a new skill. Yeah, I'd love to see that Lightning Ball skill. So we'll slam Shapers. The fuck? What'd it do? I think it did CNC. Found this in Helltrav. He says his Barbarian can run Chaos, Shank, Eldritch, Pendleskin, and Chaos. Or, and uh, the Trav. So he can run all those fucking places in like five minutes. That's pretty damn fast. An IK Barb. Oh, nothing happened to those um, laying of hands with an additional 10 IS are really nice gloves for a lot of characters. Slam the things on the ground. Frostwind, piece of shit. Now it looks like they didn't really give this thing much attention for Path of Diablo. Um, I'd still be interested to experiment with it. It doesn't give the... Uh, okay, it gives Refrigerate. All right, check this out. Then I'll drop more. So here's Refrigerate. Enemy defense, it, it, it pierces their defense. I don't know how long it lasts. Can I, can I refrigerate him? No, I can't. Nice. Uh, so it pierces their, uh, you know, their defense, which is kind of nice. One socket. Here's the shapers. Veil of Steel. This is a collector's item. This is from Diablo 1 as well. In Diablo 1, it was, it was pretty interesting. Uh, I think when you had it equipped... No, it didn't take your res down to zero, did it? That was the Gotterung Dung Helm. Maybe Vilof still had some similar attributes, and I think it actually gave negative uh, light res as well. So this is a collector's item, man. And uh, some people find it to be a pretty damn good Merc Helm, because then they don't have to have any res on their armor. You can put other things in their armor. I don't know if that did shit. You like that twin pick? It ain't what you guys think, though, okay? It ain't what you guys think. Um, It's nice when I get whispered to if you guys type my name, you know what I mean? Type like Iceman, because then I can just hit R and respond. Because right now, apparently, Boz is the last one who whispered me. So it's re responding to him. You know what I mean? But I just get a lot of folks who... Uh, it'd be nice, you know, to just message Iceman directly so I can do that. But uh, it's just a little... It's just kind of helpful if y'all are, are interested. So here's a Lysander bow. Oh, shit! Yeah, that's that's pretty interesting. I wonder how that would actually compare to uh, to a six socketed one. You're getting a lot of damage. It's like eagle horn damage, maybe a little less, but it has uh, some nice stats. Um, I think okay. So I'm still responding about this. So yeah, actually, uh, with Kappa, he has a cold sork who uses freezing pulse. So I want to make a video with that. And I, and I mentioned that to him. Two socketed guardian angel because uh, freezing pulse, I was pretty damn impressed with how powerful that was. It's a new skill. It shoots a big wave of cold. So I intend to make a video showcasing Kappa's character sometime coming up.
in the near future, hopefully. I think we can both work it out. Uh, maybe in the next coming days. Death's hand gloves. Didn't get shit. Five, six, seven. So I'm going to have to decide with these boots. Oh, and they're all res nine. <clears throat> yeah, these will be nice. I'll put them on right now. Damn. Because they already get eight all res from the set. Oh, shit. Oh, man. He, he's, he's down for risking this shit. Are you kidding me? Do it when I'm gone? All right. There's seraphs. I don't know if it did shit. All right, Basel wants to leave for the ring. Did I pick that shit up? Okay, there it is. So yeah, we're gonna slam Maso J. Come on, baby. Yeah, it's very valuable in Path of Diablo, this ring. Oh! Hmm, didn't do shit. But sometimes that's almost a relief when it doesn't do shit. Damn, he has a lot of these. Klieg laws. Uh, these are nice on a boson, actually. I've experimented with these with my Faith boson. It's really nice on the slows target as well, but the knockback is great. Then you can have sort of a wind force effect on any bow. Uh, so, yeah, that's... But you can also craft uh, knockback gloves. But, of course, they don't have the slow target. Chance guards. See the MF. 40 MF. Holy shit. Gained on hit. Nice. Life gained on hit chance guards. So here's a Zach Room Shield. I don't know if this thing has much of a use. Increased fire damage. 10 to Hydra. Interesting, because Hydra has been reworked in Path of Diablo. It shoots fireballs now, and it does a hell of a lot more damage than what it used to do. At least it wasn't bye bye. Yeah. Wonder what C and C value is. Um, I really don't know. I'm thinking like maybe a couple, maybe still two high runes or something. I'm not sure. Here's Ariox Needle. It's a three skill. I think it ranges from one to four skills. Uh, initially, when they showed off this new Molten Strike skill, I wanted to experiment with uh, spears like this, but the skill fucking sucks. But nonetheless, I still might screw around with it. Th 30s. Uh, I'm not sure. Actually, I think that's max. Yeah, I believe that's max, isn't it? For the Hyperion Spear. Yeah, so that might that's a pretty damn good roll. Sla uh, this this item here is great for running Ubers. People love the three socketed one. They'll trade a high rune for that shit. Damn. So rip the flesh ripper. Damn, he has a lot of goodies. Triangle Shield. Uh, my boy Sam K is utilizing Triangle Set. Increased poison damage? Damn, that's Toad. Yeah, so Sam K, if you see this, uh, maybe Baz will be down for training you, man. Wow, that's really nice. I'll let him know that you're, uh, you're looking for that shit, so he might be down for trading that. One to all skills. You could get this gave all res. Nice. This amulet is a great starter amulet. Uh, I'm pretty sure that set is quite shitty, but but maybe it would be uh, adequate for an early for an early character. Here's Dwarf Star. Folks like to wear this in the Trav. Uh, also running Bell uh, with all the Hydras that spawn. 
when uh, you fight the council members. Fire absorb is absolute toad in those situations. And the magic and elemental damage uh, reduction is actually... That, that shit really adds up, man. So I'm thinking about wearing one of these on my character. Oh, damn! That's, that's the totest dwarf star I've seen in a long time. <clears throat> no way. Five? Uh, I don't know if it ranges from five to eight, or is it always set five? I don't... Damn, that's Toad. Yeah, these are great for running... Uh... Okay, six is max. Six is max. Yeah, it might be five. I don't know. I don't know which it is. Okay, so it is It is five. So it just has a 1% increment there. Nature's Peace. Uh, people used to use this when they ran Nithlak because of his uh, corpse explosion. You just kill all the enemies and their souls would rest. And uh, he wasn't able to corpse explode them. But I don't, I don't know if folks run them anymore. I don't think that got shit. It did. Okay, no, no, it didn't. It already had that physical damage thing. So, yeah, I don't think it did shit to that. Damn, a 30 Naggle? You can get an additional 10 MF when you slam items in Path of Diablo. A <laughs> godly Naggle. Uh, in fact, there might be folks looking for that. Uh, it, it's perfect. Um, I don't know what would be more desired. Uh, I'm sure it's all situational. You know, some folks might see that to be the most valuable slime you can get on the highest MF um, Nagel ring. That's pretty damn good. I, these rings are great. I actually need one of these rings on my Zon uh, because sometimes when my Tretch doesn't cast, it, these are great to have poison res. So you max out your poison res with these if you have a shitty poison res. And really for bosons as well, they just cast so many damn tornadoes and a uh, blaze of ice assassins. Those tornadoes, they'll, uh, or the twisters, will stun enemies. So that's a great ring. I don't think it did shit. And uh, damage taken gained as mana is really nice as well. And of course it gets the life steal. Poison Nova is just a little bonus, doesn't really do too much. 21 poison creeper, that's pretty high. In fact... Wait, where'd it go? Let's, let's try out that Poison Creeper a second. So, Nature's Peace. Let's see what the damage is. Oak Sage? What the fuck? No way. Nature's Peace has Oak Sage? Life 28%. Look at that. I didn't realize it gave Oak Sage. Um, the life of the Oak Sage is 140, so that shit's going to die quick. Yeah, that shit's going to die really quick. That's my ring. My ring's pretty damn nice. So let's see what the, uh, the damage is of the Poison Creeper. Holy shit, a thousand damage? Damn. Stonehold Rare Ring. Dual Leech. Nice. A dual leech ring, very desirable. Um, my Amazon needs one of these things as, as well. If I ever switch to boson, or if I go straight up T-strokes, yeah, these these are nice. I like to search for ones with uh, has nice leech actually. It's not not shitty. Five is quite minimal to what I generally like to accept on them. It has a nice six mana leech. I don't think it did shit. Don't think it did shit right there. Ravenfrost. Everybody likes a good slammed Ravenfrost. Oh, and this is 20 decks and decent attack rating. Oh, damn. Oh, man, that fucking Ravenfrost. Man, that sucks. That really sucks. Another one. Okay, so we'll slam another Raven Frost. At least it wasn't SOJ, yeah. 
CNC. One more OC. Right, so thank you, Baza, for letting me slime some of these goodies. We haven't really had any like super godly uh, slams. Okay, so he's going to be right back with an item. So I'm going to pause this real quick. All right, so Baza rejoined, and he has a bunch of OCs. So he's been collecting them as currency. He's been breaking down a lot of his items he's been finding lately and, and just uh, breaking them down into little currencies, man, of these OCs because these are great. And later on in the season, you can buy a lot of things with just one OC. You know, people just keep using up these damn things. So here's a Mage Fist. This is probably a good way to go. 10 IES. Uh, there might be some characters who utilize that. In fact, maybe a Fire... <clears throat> A fire claw one, a fire claw druid maybe. A blood fists are not to be underlooked; they're absolute toad, with a faster hit recovery, especially a nice little life bonus in IES. Twenty IES, holy shit! Are you kidding me? Yeah, these might be uber gloves. They really could be uber gloves, I think. Mm, some characters are just dying for more, you know, faster hit recovery. And with 20 IS now, that's that's hog. 10 F. Oh, man, this is great. Yeah, that's great. Some barbarians like this shit. Some, some bosons like it. Okay, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Um, looks like we have water walks, trap amulet, 14 piercing attack. I guess I have what I want on that on that son of a bitch, but fuck it, I'll uh, I'll slam his anyway. See what we get. 15 life, I think, is what it gave. No, it already had that. Didn't do shit. Three to traps, so folks love rolling the one skill on these, and they can be worth quite a damn bit. Shit! <clears throat> All right, I'll go outside and slam um, another three to traps amulet. 10 MF. 10 MF could be better. Yeah, Boz actually hooked me up with a nice pair of water walks early on in the ladder. To help my Amazon get through. Some folks wear these end game, however. Uh, I don't think it did shit. Another nature's peace ring. Looks like it didn't do shit. Damn. Nice amulet right here. With all resist. And uh, Iron Maiden, I believe. So we'll see what else he has. Oh, he has Trex. Natalia's. Yeah, Natalia's helm is very nice. Good act two. In fact, you can up these now and get three sockets on them, can't you? Damn! Yeah, I believe you can up that shit now. So you'd want to up it uh, before you slam it, but he probably knows that. Um, it's, it's, of course, it's a ball rune, so it sucks doing that. Here's some tracks, non-eth. And I think non-eth tracks are actually more desirable now in Path of Diablo. Because instead of just getting more defense as you get from the eth ones, you can slam it if it's non-eth. Because you can't slam uh, eth items with OCs in Path of Diablo. So now you can get like up to 10 all res on these boots. Or other nice attributes. Check that shit out. Yeah, eight all reds, uh, all res uh, trek boots. Uh, pretty godly. And then they get, uh, what is it? They get 51 poison res. All right, so I'll slam these chance guards. Don't think it did shit. So, corrupted, corrupted, corrupted. How many OC left? 
Oh shit. Oh shit, I hope I didn't use them all. Uh, I hope I didn't use more than what he wanted me to use. I got a little excited there, I guess, but all right, he's, he, he might have a couple more. So I'll hit you guys up in just a minute. All right, so Baza, he just uh, joined the game with another character and he dropped a bunch of maps because now you can slam maps. These are new maps for Path of Diablo. Uh, we have some pretty nice ones here. Uh, the Frigid Plateau Relic. And check out the, the mods on these things. So we'll see what uh, if we get anything decent here. One of my favorites so far is the Ice Cavern. Uh, it's just like the Ice Cavern in Act 5, or whatever you call those those uh, cave, those ice cave regions. So let's see if this does anything. Corrupted. Did it do shit? I don't know if it did shit. So this one has 23 and 432. 23 for the density and 432 experience. What the fuck? Oh, that is the one I corrupted? Oh, that one already was corrupted. Okay. So this one's 18 and 24. Or 18 and 244. So 19 and 269. So it must have changed some stats. You guys are going to have to look and see what it changed. Here's the uh, another ice cavern relic. Oh, and they even have rare names. That's interesting. Eagle Eye. Players are slowed 50%. Five and six. Five and six. I don't think it did shit. Lower resist on hit. Piercing attack, attack speed, physical damage, and maximum life, 16, 351. Holy shit. Look at that. Damn. 774%. Yeah, that's nice density right there on that map. Yeah, the density is what you want, right? 13 and 189. Oh, that one's already corrupted. So a lot of these are corrupted. So I have this last one up here. Nope, that one's gone too. All right, so he has more maps. Let's go see what other maps he has. Yeah, I've been finding a lot of the plateau, the frigid plateau, but my character has a hard time doing that one. Until recently. I can I can do it a little better now that she's a Javazan. Dim Cellar. Uh, this is like the place uh, right before the Arcane Sanctuary. The harem and all that shit. And you can get the cow level slamming maps. And I don't know if there are any other special ones. Icy Cavern, 18210. 22 and 260 so your experience went up oh damn look at that 200 percent better chance of getting magic items and that adds to your character it'll show up on your character uh, stat screen nice monsters have level 10 concentration this one is hard as fuck Baza and I, and one of my other boys from back in the day, we were running this area just yesterday, just last night. And uh, we were persevering. Uh, Baza was using his Barbarian, but the enemies were hitting like fucking trucks. Monsters deal plus 200 nearly physical damage per hit. Plus 200 physical damage. And in addition to that, they all have a concentration level aura of level 10. A 100% reduced curse duration. These are hard as fuck. As you can see here, oh. Now they deal 200. Okay, so the, oh no, they, they, the stats didn't change up. It added some stats. I think this is the highest density one I've seen yet. 
Look at how hard this one must be. That's crazy. No way. How the fuck are we going to be able to deal with that? How's anyone going to be able to deal with that shit? Hot damn. Forgotten Desert. Monsters have 8 Conviction? Level 8 Conviction. They have Hog Lightning Res, so don't take a Lightning character there, you'd be fucked. Well, you might need one. Okay, he's gonna, he's gonna take off. Amplify damage. Take. You take 94 physical damage when attacking. What if you're just shooting your bow at nothing? Do you still take damage? Let me know in the comments below. Are you kidding me? It's fucking crazy. All right. So he wants me to slam these last ones. All right, here's the last ones we're gonna slam. Icy Cavern. Good old Icy Cavern. Yeah, that's toad to have. Uh, one of these can turn into a cow level. Yeah. I know, we need that damn cow level. Did that do shit? Yeah, that did shit. No, it's godly enough. Uh, what's nice, what I like about it, okay, they are casting lower resist and amplify damage. Only a 10% chance, though. Yeah. At least they're not like light resist or physical resist. This one is doable. Yeah, I think we could do that one. It's going to be hard as fuck. Burnt Forest. No way. <laughs> I know, man. That's crazy how the stats on that shit. How are you supposed to deal with that? Monsters deal plus 200 physical damage. Just add it on to who knows what the hell they're already doing. Plus their concentration. And they'll lower resist your ass. They do just so much wicked shit. I know. Yeah, that's the problem. Oh, this one uh, lowered. Reduced by 63. Yeah, I need, need some godly characters, man. Or something. I don't know who the fuck can deal with some of this shit. Oh, we could do this one. Probably not after I slam it. Although it's still pretty damn good if they have concentration. Now they're doing magic damage. Now we're fucked. Icy Cavern. Yeah, maybe we should have kept that one, come to think of it. I should have mentioned that to Baza. But whatever, it'll be challenging. All right, so last one right here. Yeah, because we were going to do a burnt forest. I'm, I'm sure we're still going to. Musty Crypt. All right. I think that's it. It was the oh, oh okay that was the oh that was the only one but whatever we'll give it a shot so here's his barbarian check it out he could use some slams on this gear obviously I'm kind of surprised he didn't find more more on bark gear and added that to the slam fest so he does wear angelic he wears a 10 mf angelic uh, this barb has apparently a lot of magic find. Oh, damn, look at this one. Yeah, you slowed by 50%. That's a common trait that these will have when you're near an enemy. I don't know if that did shit. Yeah, I have... Uh, okay, I guess I guess we'll slam one. I, I don't know which one we should slam. Um, probably... 
I hate the fucking frigid plateau. So it'd be nice to turn that into a cow level. I could probably do this one. Um, could probably do that one. Frigid Plateau is such a fucking bitch. Musty Crypt. This is hard. Frigid Plateau. Maybe we'll slam this one. Fuck it. No, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to slam the Ice Cavern on this one right here. Okay, so slam the Ice Cavern. Because maybe it'll have like a bunch of MF. The fuck? Yeah, it might have added some experience. I really don't know. Frigid Plateau. Well, thanks, Baza, for the video. Um, he's level 86, so yeah, we're going to run some maps with this stuff because the Barbarian is great, man. Uh, he's been doing a good job being a meat shield and shit, and he actually does a lot of damage. So, And from what I've heard, um, talk shit in the comments below, if you will. Of course, it'd be fucking nice if you give a little donation if you're going to, but... You don't have to. Uh, yeah, the Vitality. What's it at? 60 bucks? Is it 60 bucks? It's good shit. It's, it's worth every fucking penny. All right. Maybe it's 40 bucks. I don't know. Check my Facebook linked in the description below. You'll see the price right there. But yeah, nonetheless, Buzz and I um, are going to run T5. And... I've heard that the Venom Lords there are like the ones in Uber Tristram where they're immune to everything but physical and you can't break their immunities with conviction or lower resist. So you need a physical character to kill their asses. So hopefully Baza will be able to do that with this Barbarian. Hopefully Baza will be the hero that we need to defeat these motherfuckers. So yeah, we're going to see how that goes. And uh, I'll talk to you all soon. And thank you to my patrons. For supporting me as you have. Actually, I, I just uh, received two new patrons. There's Jay and there's Mike just the other day. Marcus and Tony, very recent patrons as well. I appreciate you guys for supporting me. And I'll talk to you all soon. Peace be with you.